Assalamualaikum everyone, welcome to this video. So today, we're going to practice about the brain and heart. Heart. Excuse me, wait. First, tell me something. Did you check part one? No or yes, comment down below. Because, because or maybe you don't need to comment actually. Just watch part one if you didn't. And, and if you watched part one, welcome to this video. So we're going to talk about the brain and... And the heart. So as you can see, if you who still don't know the smart primary science. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I'm going to show a little more logo. Hey! Oh, here, this is my code number of 2052. That's my real code number. And in here, it's called Smart Primary Science. This is my code number because that's that's my code number where I study. And there's a fisherman with a boat and others. Okay, forget about the logo. Let's just continue. So as you can see, here is the brain. You can't see it because it's an internal organ. It's in our here in our head, and I'm gonna tell you what type of bone head it has. Also, our heart. So, put so if you want to know where the heart is, put your hand in the left side. Yes, right here. Here's my left side. Put it on yours. You can feel something beating, right? That's your heart. It's pumping blood. Okay, so let's talk about the next one. Number three, brain. The brain is the manager of our body. Yep, it's the manager of our body. It can control us. I'm not lying, it can control us. So let's just say, you're hungry. Hey. But you know what's make you feel to become hungry? Your brain. It commands you that you're feeling hungry. You should eat. Eat. And when you eat, then your brain says, you're full. Don't eat. It tells all the body parts. Like the stomach. We already talked about that earlier. So, the brain says, hey stomach, stop telling him don't. Stop eating. Digest the food and wait. Okay? Just do that. And it also tells us to stop eating when we're full. It is located inside the skull. Yep, it's located inside the skull right here. That's my brain inside. It is the most important organ of our body. It's very important. That's why it's called the king. It's the king of our body. Our here, skull, is on the very top. Up, and thanks to Allah, because without that, we could have not been able to survive. He had luckily made this body here, so thank you, Allah. Alhamdulillah. Without it, we, won't, we will not be able to walk or talk. Like, now I'm talking, but if I don't have a brain, I can't talk. Talk, play, think, think, memorize, or I can't feel. Exactly what I was talking about earlier. Like, I need, like your, you need to feel to go to the bathroom. And your brain says, I need to, you need to feel to go to the bathroom. Just go to the bathroom. Or, your brain says, hey, you, I think I, you found some food. Now go and eat it. If you feel for eating, your brain makes you feel it. Okay, so one second. So as you can see, I have some chips here. These are chips. And now my brain is saying, eat these chips. Right? That's really normal. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a brain, you can feel. Oh, nothing. I'll just my mother closing the door. It is 
responsible for all the functions of our body needs to perform to stay alive. Our body needs to stay alive. That's exactly. So next, it's a very small part of the heart. So let's read it. It is slightly on the left side. Mm -hmm. You can feel something beating, that's your heart. It's slightly on the left side of the chest. That's what it says. Heart pumps blood to all parts of the body. So if you don't have a heart, you could die. But if you don't have any blood, you cannot even move. Literally, you cannot move anymore. Nope. Somebody has to carry you to the other one. But luckily, you have blood inside your body. So, you know, when something cuts, like, let's just say you accidentally cut your hand. Like, blood comes out, right? Because your body has blood inside, or else you cannot move. So, as you can see, this is today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Bye-bye. And remember, tomorrow, we're going to learn math. So bye-bye.